Okay guys, so this is just a really quick video to say Technically I have failed the 50 days of vlogging challenge But I'm going to continue and the challenge and I'll tell you why On Friday I was out all day and I got home at about 6pm I filmed and I edited, edit, edit, edited and uploaded at half 11 at night So I was up really late even though I had, I'd had a really long day so I was really tired yesterday I was really tired it was so hot as well yesterday um, and my head was hurting because it was really hot on Friday and I was out in the heat all day I would got a bit burnt on my head and yesterday it was really hot as well I was really couldn't be bothered to do anything I went to ride my horse which was quite strenuous because she misbehaved um, and my head was still hurting yesterday um, but I did film yesterday when I had the time and I tried to edit and upload last night. I finished editing at about 11pm and I thought that, you know, that was going to be fine. Um, I pressed save movie um, to save the video so I could put it on YouTube and it took forever. I was there till half past midnight and it was only on 30%. So I didn't want to bother because I kept falling asleep and waking back up and my laptop was on. I didn't want to fall asleep and leave my laptop on because it was really burning hot underneath. Um, so uh, technically I failed the challenge because I didn't get the video up yesterday. But I'm going to continue because yesterday I was just really tired and my head hurt and I, I would have stayed up all night if I had to. But yesterday was just, I was so tired from obviously Friday and it, the heat and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue the challenge purely because I don't think it's fair if I had to fail, if that makes sense. I don't think it would be fair because I have been really tired and drained. <laughs> so I don't think that it would really be fair. But you can tell me, I mean, if you want, I can just stop uploading the 50 days of vlogging videos if you think that I should have failed and not carried on. But uh, if you understand where I'm coming from, obviously my, my health comes first for me and I'd rather go to sleep and catch up and be energised than sort of... Uh, um, be tired and you know my head was hurting so I'd rather be healthy than have a video uploaded <laughs> that sounds really bad um so yeah I'm going to upload yesterday's video which was day 18 I'm going to upload that today and just continue the challenge from here so yeah I hope you enjoy the video hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing, yeah, day 18 of the 50 days of vlogging, a DIY or a tutorial. So, today I'm going to do, why, is it, why am I so close? <laughs> today I'm going to do some hair tutorials for you. I'm going to do, uh, I've got six hairstyles to show you, to do. So, um, yeah. You will need, obviously, a hairbrush, nothing special about mine, some bobby pins, which I have in this tin, um, if you don't have them, they're really cheap, you can get them like anywhere, you can probably get them for like a quid on eBay, so, and some little like hair, oh shoot, I'll elastic hair things, I don't know if it's going to focus, but I think it focused. <laughs> If you don't have just loom bands, so there's nothing special about these. They're purple. You can use clear ones or anything that you've got. Alright. So for the first hairstyle you're going to need just a hairbrush and the hair bands. I have some bobby pins because I usually need them, but you might not need them. That you want to do is brush out your hair obviously um, and you want something sharp to um, part your hair with 
I just use a bobby pin because you know why not. I'm going to be looking up here because there's a mirror up there so don't mind me. So you want to go up from your nose because your nose is the middle of your face and we want a middle part to this. So yeah you just make a middle part. Is that even centered? Yeah, you just want to make a middle part all the way down your hair. I have done a tutorial similar to this, um, my French braid tutorial, but it wasn't very good to be honest. So that's why I'm putting it in this. It looks wacky. All I like to do is just um, put a hair band on this side. I forgot to mention that you'll need a hair band. I actually don't have one. Oh yeah, I do. So I'm gonna just tie my hair up this side. I will look like a wally but it's the only way to get the rest of your hair out of the way. And then you want to start with a section like so. So just slide your finger in and grab a section like this and then you want to part it into three hope you can see what I'm doing and I'm doing a Dutch braid so this is going to go underneath and then again underneath and then you want to pick up hair so I just slide my thumb like so and then go underneath and from the other side you want to pick up hair and go underneath the middle section and you just do this all throughout your head basically hope you can see what I'm doing you just pick up hair just go underneath, pick up hair, go underneath. Um, and just to mention, when you start braiding, you want to braid backwards. Um, so when you start up here, you want to aim the braid backwards because then, um, the braid will curve around the back of your head rather than like coming down here. Um, so yeah, you want to braid backwards like I'm doing. And then once you get to sort of here, you can bring it to the front and I just hold all the sections and then bring it to the front. And then you just carry on braiding. Oopsie. I have got uneven sections in this. I don't know if you can see. There's like a thin one somewhere. Then you just want to tie the elastic on the end. Or the loom band as I have. And you can see what I use my bobby pin for because I get this funky looking bit of hair. So I just like to pin that back. You can obviously have a bit of hair down if you want, but I just leave mine. And then, you know, widen the braid out. As you can see, the time doing just makes it look a bit more um, widened really. I'm going to do the other side now. So I did the other side. This side sort of failed a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you noticed but I wear this hairstyle all the time. I was wearing it earlier. Wearing this hairstyle. Is that the correct English? Yeah, I really like it. Okay. So this next one doesn't have a name. As I just said, it's just my signature, what I like to call, focus please, what I like to call my signature, 
hairstyle because um, I do it all the time and I don't see anybody else wearing their hair like this. So I'm just going to show you right now. All you need for this is simply just a hairband. And what I do is with my hairbrush I just take the hair here back. So I'm sort of just brushing the hair back and leaving some out. I don't know if you can see. And then I do the same to the other side. I do it with my hands most of the time. So you just, you know, take some hair. It's sort of a half, it is a half up, half down. You can like bobby pin it if you want or make a bun at the back. You can basically just customise it however you want. You can even have like braids. Um, but I just leave it like this. I just quite like it, I don't know. Okay, so for the next one, I'm doing a twist into a rope braid. I came up with this. It might be already a thing, I don't know. I'm actually going to show you five hairstyles, I think I said six in the beginning, but one of them... I don't know, I've never done it before and I feel like it's really going to fail. I'm not that good at hairstyles. Anyways, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take this part of my hair, it doesn't matter what parting you've got, and I'm literally just going to twist it backwards and then just add the hair along my head and just twist. Like so, all the way round. This is so easy to do. I don't know if you can see, but it's forming like a a cool twist thing. And I'm going to go all the way around the back of my head. I don't know if you can see this. Um, and then when I get to here, you've got this hair that's like twisted around your head. And this, obviously the rest of your hair. You just want to take some of this hair into that hair that's twisted. <laughs> and you want to twist both of these sections into a rope braid. People have different ways of doing rope braids. I literally just twist them around each other. Just keep twisting. And just twist it until you get to the end and then I'm not securing it with one of those small elastics I'm going to secure it with an actual hairband just because hairbands are going to they don't look that great but them little elastic things aren't that strong and they won't really hold the braid if you know what I mean so yeah, as you can see, we've got this like twist sort of thing going on, which goes all the way around, obviously, as I showed you, and then just goes into a rope braid. I think this looks really nice, and I'll be wearing it. Knows how to do this next one. It's simply just a messy bun. So. I flip my head upside down because I find it easier, so I'm going to go out of frame for a minute. Look what's happened to my hair, like from where I did that twist, it's like gone. <laughs> I'm going to flip my head upside down. And you just want to like, when you tip it upside down, I find it easier to get my hair like right on the top of my head by doing this. And you just want to brush out your hair whilst you've got it upside down just to make the bun easier to form. Uh, you want to gather and you want to twist twist your hair so you're twisting it like so and then you pull it round into a bun like so and you want to keep hold of the inside of this bun like where you first 
twisted the hair, and, you know, sort of the inside of the bun, like the middle. I'll show you why. Put a hairband on it. You look crazy. And you know what I said about the middle? You just want to pull it out. You want to pull the middle of the bun out. And it forms this bun-like shape. And in the back, you just want to pull, you just want to, you know, pull it. I'll fix it up in a sec. There you go. And you want to just pull it, you know, make it bigger to the size you want. And I'm just going to bobby pin this sort of in place. <clears throat> so you just want to take bobby pins and you know, pin it. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I pin usually two in the sides, one in the back and one in the front to just secure it, but sometimes the buns don't need that much bobby pins. And then to make it messier, obviously you just pull down some hairs um, and you want to pull on the hair around the bun. Um, you know, this hairstyle is all over YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, just pull the hair out around the bun, which sort of makes the bun look a little bit small. A little bit. What, I've got a rogue hair, just like poking out. Yeah, that is the messy bun look that I created. My bun looks wonky on the camera, but it doesn't in the mirror, so I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, that's basically all for my video today. Just want to say, <laughs> for this hairstyle as well, you can add a flower crown. I sometimes put the flower crown around the bun like this. Um, you can do that, or you can like actually put it on your head, you know? Like however you want to have it. I think it looks quite nice in summer with a flower crown, but you don't have to. Um, follow my social medias and subscribe. Let's get to uh, 50 subscribers by the end of this month. Oh my gosh, if we could do that, I'd be so happy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, well, my other videos are better than this. So there you go. I'm sorry, I'm looking up there, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry that I've been looking up there this whole video. It's so that I can see that I'm in the screen and so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!